to this is Dark Fox with more content on Metal Gear Survive. And uh, before we get into the video, I just wanted to tell my dad, happy birthday, happy belated. Uh, thank you for showing me how to be a man, how to take on issues and just overcome them. I appreciate it, Dad. Thank you. So for the video of the day, we have a wormhole that we need to open. So we're going deep into the dust. And with these wormholes, you have to defend them for a certain amount of time before they'll they, they get uh, activated and will open. So, without further ado, here we go. Alright guys, so now we're here, we're taking on the mission. Um, and so, I didn't know that uh, this was like a decent base at one time. Probably the Karen Corps um, developed it and everything. I'm sure that uh, whoever sent them out there sent them out with some some kind of supplies with uh, you know artillery things like that so they, they had no issues defending against the uh, the wanderers and apparently they sent them out there with material to build a base up so but that thing's all tattered and broken so I'm assuming that a horde probably you know overtook the base. I'm sure they weren't by themselves. It was probably uh, some something else that uh, attacked and helped them. Because uh, if you remember, the uh, Virgil said that they had more than what they needed to defend the base, defend their base. So I'm assuming that um, whatever helped them, you know, had more than enough to, to take them out. And I'm, I'm still not sure how many members there were with the Caron Corps. So, <laughs> and so throughout the game, um, you, you might get like, uh, like freaked out or afraid that, you know, that you're not going to be able to eat as frequent, but you know, they, they do supply you with uh, with food every time because they I assume they knew you know developing the game that they would need to put more food than what, what they have been in, in front of you so you know as you progress through the game more food starts to show up which is cool which is really cool but um, I still feel like it's, it's still too much of a of a headache to try to you know look for look for the food here you know, it, it shows up, but it doesn't show up as, as often as I would like. So you're still, like, worried about your hunger and things like that. But, you know, they do, you know, I got to give my hat, my hats off to them for, you know, this is it's a decent game. But, you know, it's just obviously those things I would change. I'm not, I'm not upset that you have to eat anymore. I'm not upset that you have to eat and drink. But I am upset of, of how frequent the food comes about. It's not very, it's not very very often that you get food coming to you, so. So here we are in the dust. And so we're, I took the back way. There's a front and back way to the, to the, to the, uh, to the wormhole. And, um, I've been through this a few times. And, um, the front way you, you encounter some wanderers and things like that. And, uh, I just, don't like to have to sneak around them, you know, and then if you pull them to where you're coming, it, it creates so, you know, so many problems, you know, so, and so here I am taking care of this guy, so whenever you bring the wormhole online, he'll, you know, wake up, because he's attracted to the, the energy that it's emitting, and he'll wake up and uh, be the first one to that gate, and that's, that's a hard deal, because these gates, they don't last forever. You know, so him, you know, beating on that gate sends it to half and then a, a ton of them start showing up. So figure I'd take care of him first and then, you know, I'll be in good shape. Get some clean water. Man, I'm going to drink it right now because, man, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> and the good thing about the clean water is, man, it, it'll bump up your stamina a lot. And, uh, uh, one of the guys commented on one of the videos that he doesn't think that, you know, the more you run, the more you have to drink and all that good stuff. I believe he's right. He's right about that. And um, it, it, the 
increases at a fixed rate. So, you know, whatever you eat, whatever you drink, you're going to get hungry and thirsty at the same rate. So you can run as much as you want, you know, that your stamina allow you to. So you can run and do all this stuff and it, it won't affect how often you have to eat or drink. So I put my foot in my mouth. The dude set me straight and I really do appreciate that. Dude or gal. I don't want to <laughs> say it was a guy. It might have been a woman. So just to clear all those bases up. Another thing, another thing that I did uh, kind of find out through throughout playing the game is uh, the tool that you have, your weapon, it will decrease in, um, you know, the, the more you use it, um, it'll break down. So the hits that you, that, that, that you, you know, deliver to the, to the enemy, that will decrease also. So the durability that's, that's decreasing as the, the more enemies you face, the more you hit. And so if it gets down to a low percentage, then it won't be as effective when, whenever you're taking on enemies. So keep that in mind. That's one of the things that I had no idea. I had the same spear for forever, and I was wondering why I wasn't able to kill them as fast. And so that, that was the reason. The durability had went way too far down. And it wasn't giving out the hits or the, the damage that I, I thought it was supposed to. And so that's... I'm, I'm not mad at that at all. You know, I just got to... It's just... It makes you keep an eye on a lot of things that you wouldn't normally have to with a, a, another game. You know, so... I mean, hats off to them for that because uh, that's it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I thought it had something to do with my strength. I thought it was just weak. And the, the enemies that I was encountering, they were just stronger. But uh, no, it's just the durability. So here I am, fighting. Don't get me wrong, it's not a, a ton of them, but it's enough to freaking get me all flustered. Running around, I'm like, what the heck am I gonna do? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> it caught me off guard. I forgot that happened. And see that blood running down your head? That means you're injured somewhere. It turns out that I was injured on my hand, so I was like, god damn. Still got blood running down your face. And that's really effective. You get a group of them together and uh, you run and then punch. It, it's pretty effective. It's right on and the wormhole's ready to go. And I think that's pretty cool. It'll take out the wanderers in, in the vicinity. And here I am just... <laughs> I'm scared that more are going to show up. So I just put that there just for, uh, for insurance. That if they do start showing up, I got enough time to, you know, ransack this place. Grab the things that I want to grab. at my oxygen replenishing that and I'm not sure if I noticed it yet but I will eventually I think maybe when I get back to base or something because you see now it's at 23% me taking down these these boxes and things like that 23 is not going to take the enemy out quickly it's not going to do that so keep an eye on that just one more thing to uh, you know, look at when you're going through the game and like I said man it's not a bad game you know it's fuck this is gorgeous it's uh the landscape is is beautiful where you are you know they got really good uh, enemies for you to face not hard but you get a group of them and it, it could turn into a 
a real crapshoot real fast. So, you know, and these cutscenes, man. My God, look at this. Look at these cutscenes. I love these. With the transporter reactivated, you can now move more quickly and safely. Should you discover other transporters during your searches, I recommend reactivating them as well. Teleportation is better. Never thought this kind of technology exists. But now that I've seen this, I know I'm right. Right about what? How a group like the Charon Corps, who were this advanced, got wiped out. It wasn't wanderers, it was people. So whether it was some kind of internal conflict or an outside force, I don't know. That is illogical. As we discussed before, in an environment such as Dite's, there can be no advantage to humans working against one another. After all, you and the captain were technically members of opposing forces, yet here you are working together. Yeah, well, people don't always do the smart thing. Wow. And I make no promises I won't shoot the captain in the back if I have to. <laughs> Look, you just watch out. If we do come across survivors here, do not let your guard down. Alright, guys. So that was you turning on the wormhole gateway. All that good stuff. So, um, in the next video, I'm going to have a few spoilers. So I'm, um, but I'm gonna wait till the end to give those things. So, uh, just a heads up. The next video, I'm gonna have some spoilers on what's going on, things like that. I went ahead and looked into. I finished out the game. You know, not me. I, I went to someone else's page. I can't think of that guy. I was gonna give him a shout out because he did really well, man. <laughs> he did really good. I, I, I was. Kind of thrown aback by it, how how just seamless he moved through these these missions, but um, uh, man, I wish I could give him a shout out. I'll look it up and then I, and then I will. But uh, I will have spoilers on the next video on uh, what is actually going on. Um, it's pretty trippy, not at all what I thought it was going to be, but um, it's interesting. Not very in tune with what Hideo Kojima would do, so you know, it's just still to me not a Metal Gear Solid game, so. And I'm sure, you know, you probably already knew that if you have been playing the game or anything like that. But uh, that's all I have. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. And if you really, really liked it, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Dark Fox. Peace.